In this movie, we're going to cover formatting your crosstab. Continuing along with the crosstab report, let's go ahead and right click on the crosstab expert and let's take it to style. By default, we have the original, just a simple grid based on the number of groups and the rows and the columns that you've defined. But Crystal has added a few upgrades, if you will. I like to recommend the best format for you, but beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and what is perfect for me could be completely horrendous to you. So I encourage you to kind of play around. Let's go ahead and look at their basic blue, and press OK. We get this warning message that we've selected a new style, and would you like this style, and override any custom changes you've made. The custom changes we're referring to were kind of where we customized the style, where we had our options of what to show and what not to show. In this case, we're going to go ahead and say yes. And this is a format, again, of our data with the crosstab format template that we've chosen. Let's say we didn't like this one. We simply right click in the top left hand corner of our crosstab and go to the expert again. This time let's go to our style. We have a basic teal, a gold, a grayscale, an old photograph. Go ahead and press OK and answer the yes message. And this is yet another crosstab but format a little bit better. Now the one issue with the crosstab and the formats is the longer or the larger your crosstab is the harder it is to export to anything other than Excel. You can export this to PDF but you'll need to take steps to make sure that columns are repeated and your headers are repeated for each page of the report otherwise it's just data with no headers or no idea what it is. Another option is to use the control Z. Currently, I'm holding down the control button, pressing Z, and taking it back. I'm going to right click in the top left hand corner and go to the crosstab expert. And this time I'm going to go to customize style. From here, I can actually click on the format grid lines, choose the grid lines, and choose dashed, dotted, or even the color. I can come up here and do the same thing. Notice each line that I click on will affect a different piece of the report. From here, I can even choose a different color. And let's go ahead and make this red. Now, the width you can also choose. For example, I came up here and took it back to a single line. The width option is only available on single lines. I can choose to thicken it up a bit and press OK. Press OK. We have a newly formatted crosstab report. I encourage you to play around with this and see how it works. One of the last things I want to show you here kind of goes back to our options, but it's helpful because it's part of the format. Let's say I didn't want the figures or my metrics to show vertically, but I wanted them horizontal. I would go to my crosstab expert, go to my customized style, and choose horizontal and press OK. Now notice what happens. This is changing my format substantially because instead of going down, I now have a streamlined row section followed by two metrics for each period that I've chosen. Notice my format stayed pretty much the same. 